Hey, guess what? We made it. Um, this is the very last portion of May's book two of the Daughter of Darkness series. And thank you for watching if you made it through. Um, otherwise, you can go to my YouTube channel and watch um, from the beginning if you like this reading I'm about to do. And um, if you're interested in purchasing the book, here it is. It's available on Amazon.com and uh, just type in my name and you'll find my publications and um, let me go with reading the rest of the book after this i'll be reading girl without borders which is another publication of mine on amazon the sun was scorching the world as i walked slowly outside and around to the back my secret favorites shut the office door behind me I guess I left the radioactive orange in there with the cookies, breakfast for the packies, and Maze's sunglasses, and his hat. She was terribly worried for me, but what could she do? The men would come soon and she had to prep the office in the usual way, check the tapes and restore them to their proper place, put the coffee on and the water for the tea. I was on my own. I only knew where I had to go and couldn't stop myself from going, though I had no idea what I would do when I got there. Terrible thoughts running through my mind. Terrible hurt. I must have left all my spirit behind, too, caught up getting crunched by the effort in the relic of technology. But I didn't care. My feelings were all unaffiliated like broken nerve ends. My mind came to a cold conclusion and turned static, walking slowly around in the back of the building, passing hollows along the way and feeling simpatico, aching, lost, confused, hollow. All I could see anymore through my tears was the silver snake, which somehow had found me and slid inside to coil around my heart. Constriction.